All right. All right. I'm, I'm pretty excited. We're doing, we rarely do. Thanks, everybody. Please have a seat. We, uh, Lewis, I am so excited because, you know, we get to see each other a little extra this coming up That's week. Right. That's right. Uh, we never do shows on Sundays except when there's a Super Bowl. And I'm going to go home tonight, and this is, I'm shooting you straight here. I'm going to start marinating my wings hey, tonight. Hey, all right. What kind? Uh, uh, I make, uh, I make uh, uh, spicy mezcal wings. Like a sweet and spicy. I use a Dos Hombres uh, mezcal yep. that, uh, that I got from Brian Cranston yep. and uh, Aaron Paul. And, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll soak anything in that <laughs> It's just fantastic, yeah. Um, don't smoke around me when I'm making them, though. Uh, in just a few minutes, we have the one, the only, Andre 3000, who will be doing the Colbert questionnaire out here. That's right. And you know him. You know him from This Is Us, and he's starting a brand new show here on CBS called Tracker. Justin Hartley will be out here in just a moment. But we've got plenty of Hartley, right? Yeah. Folks, if you know me, you know I spend most of my time right over there shaping the day's biggest news into a sleek carbon fiber story hull with an 18-degree dead rise, adding five of the most topical 600-horsepower Mercury Verado outboards, Seakeeper 2 gyroscopic stabilizers, and a three-cross 60-40 split center console to build for you the high-performance Scout 530 LXF offshore fishing boat that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I, I wake up by an abandoned aqueduct. Where I, where I strip the shoelaces off some old work boots to strap some discarded floaties and garbage bags full of packing peanuts to a broken canoe, then clamber aboard the unsound pontoon trash raft of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile... That's the only vehicle I need. That's the only vessel I want to sail. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... News from the ocean, where new research shows that clownfish may be capable of simple math and can add up stripes on others so as to recognize fellow fish. Researchers were even more shocked when they found the fish could use an upside-down calculator to spell the word boobies. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Meanwhile, a man played World of Warcraft for nearly 60 hours straight enough to break two Guinness World Records in the process. Those records, longest video game marathon and worst stank. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a recent auction, Winston Churchill's false teeth were snapped up for 18,000 pounds. The dentures were worn by Churchill during many of his famous speeches, including the We Shall Fight Them on the Beaches address, or as it's now known, We Shall Fight Them on the Beaches. <laughs> We shall find them on the landing ground. Please feed me soup. <laughs> Meanwhile, what was it? That's what we call a juicy joke right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, PETA has announced it wants carousels to no longer have animal designs and is calling for a ban on animal-themed carousels that normalize the use of animals as conveyances and amusements. In a related story, PETA has changed his name to Pajafetet, <laughs> or people asking for everyone to hate them. <laughs> mean. <laughs> While. <laughs> Old El Paso is teaming up with Cinnamon Toast Crunch for dessert taco shells. And at the time it took me to read that, the average American life expectancy decreased by three years. <laughs> now, don't worry. I don't want you to worry here, folks. The box assures us that each taco shell is blasted with cinna dust, <laughs> which I assume is either cinnamon-flavored angel dust or what's clogging the air ducts at Cinnabon. <laughs> now, I hear you ask, you're saying, Steve, what goes on inside a dessert taco shell? Well. The makers tell us the wide shells make the perfect venue for ice cream, Nutella, pie filling, or any other sweet treats your heart desires. And for God's sake, give your heart whatever it wants. <laughs> it doesn't have long. <laughs> Meet Cinnadust. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
There's a syphilis surge in the U.S. We did it! We brought back syphilis! U.S.A! 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 <laughs> You'll cheer anything. <laughs> Why the clap back? Apparently, it's due to limited access to testing, an increase in dating apps, and a decrease in sex education. One infectious disease expert warns there's an alarming trend in STDs in general. Well, as a public figure, I want to do my part. It's, it's time for the talk. Now, full disclosure, I grew up in a Christian household. I'm going to have to give you the sex talk I got. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Good talk, everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Florida, three bats had to be removed from a movie theater in Fort Pierce. While in New York, three raccoons run the Times Square AMC. <laughs> when reached for comment, the bat said, I don't get it. The entire movie was upside down. Two stars. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> takes a minute to get the joke. Takes a minute to get the joke. According to newly released research on highly processed snacks, the reason they are so unhealthy and addictive is because the manufacturing processes pre-digest raw food ingredients and ultra-processed foods may bypass the body's signals of fullness. Well, of course, we all know the Pringles slogan. Once you pop, your body doesn't realize you've popped because the chips are essentially pre-popped, suppressing any indication that the popping should stop. <laughs> we'll be right back with Andre Ice Cold. Thousands.